Welcome everyone. I'm Lei. Welcome to Lei's Real Talk. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving in the United States. So for those of you who celebrate the holidays, I hope you have a great time with your family. I certainly did. My sister is visiting me, and while I was putting on makeup, preparing for a video, she filmed me and threw some questions at me. We chatted. We had a good talk. Uh, we laughed and we, sh we shared some tears together. And you know what? Today is also my second anniversary of doing Lay's Real Talk. So in the spirit of the holiday and also in celebration of my second anniversary, I thought you might be interested in seeing the real Lay behind the scene. All right, this is where I do makeup. This is Lay's messy makeup corner. I don't have a vanity table, so I use a corner of my dining table to do this. It looks like there are a lot of stuff on my desk, but I don't actually use all of them. Lay, do you do your hair and makeup in your everyday life like this? As much as I want to, I don't. <laughs> you have to. You are my fans. Of course you believe me. Okay. Uh, would you enjoy this part of the production better or the recording part of the production? Mm, I actually enjoy the analytical part better. Doing makeup is not my forte, but but I enjoy it. It makes me look better. Why not? That, that sounds good. Hey Lei, so can I ask you a question? What is the most challenging part of this? What's the most challenging part of doing the videos? Yes. Um, it's not easy because you're dealing with a subject that's, that doesn't give you a lot of positive things to say and you immerse yourself in this like 24 seven. You need to do research, you need to um, Think about, think about it. So you're dealing with a subject that's up, that can be upsetting, and how do you remain still rational and emotionally detached from this and and remain positive is is challenging. And and yeah. Have you ever thought of giving up? Why? No, I have not thought of giving up. I'm sure there must have been some obstacles some difficult times, some challenges. It is not easy to do what I do. Um, it is very challenging. Think about it. You put on makeup in the middle of the night, you have script to finish, you have to do filming. It's not so easy, but so far I have not thought of giving up. Why? Good for you. What is the best experience you have ever experienced in this production? Um, I'm going to tell you later. Mm. What is the best experience you ever had during this production? I think the best experience can also be said. The best experience um, happened at the time when, the, when I had the worst week um, in my time of doing the videos. I remember it was during the summer. The views were down, subscribers were low, and I feel very demotivated because I was exhausted. And the day when I felt like I couldn't continue doing this anymore, um, I received a very, very generous donation. Um, and the person gave me very encouraging words. I remember crying on, on my keyboard um, that day um, because I feel like it's all worth it. Sorry, my sister, who knows me too well, um, who is doing this interview, asked me a question that just make me all in tears. She asked me what inspires you to do this every day and I'm breaking down. Okay, um, what inspires me to do this every day? 
I just thought of the Chinese, the poor Chinese who are, suffer who are suffering in China. No one is speaking up for them. And I'm also think about the Americans, the, 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 the Canadians and the Westerners, my, my Western friends who love China, but they don't know what's really happening in China. They don't even know what to do, how they can help the Chinese. I love both worlds, but the two worlds are so disconnected. And so maybe I can do something to help them. I could be the bridge. Everyone talk about bridge the cultural gap, but not a whole lot of people are really doing that. And I feel like I can do that. That's, that's what inspires me. The past two years have been the most incredible journey um, in my life. I want to thank everyone for being there with me along the way. If it weren't because of you, I would not have um, been able to do this. Lazy Real Talk would not exist without the fans, without the subscribers. So thank you for being there with me. Um, I also want to thank particularly those who have made donations to me and made financial contributions. Regardless of the amount, your donation uh, means a lot to me because other than a, f a form of financial support, they are um, a tangible form of encouragement to me, which I do need. So thank you everyone for supporting me and giving me encouragement. We still have a lot to accomplish ahead of us. Um, stay with me and we'll do it together.